Hello, and welcome to another Dune lore video. This time, I'll be exploring the character of Gurney Halleck. Thanks for the shoutouts in the comments who requested this particular character. He's another one of my favorites as well, so I was really excited to work on this video. I am currently rereading the Dune series and enjoying very much the opportunity to get to know these characters again. I was a young teenager when I first read the book, and I think I was more fascinated with the main character, Paul Atreides, and his journey, who is 15 at the time the story takes place. But in my older age, I find myself relating more to the other characters like Gurney Halleck. In reading his story again, I'm reminded why he's so beloved by fans. And for these character videos, I want to provide a window into the people that make up the world Frank Herbert created. So I'm going to focus on these characters and their backstory leading up to the story of Dune, and what we can expect to see from them as the story unfolds in Denis Villeneuve's film adaptation, as well as the actors that will bring Frank Herbert's vision to life. Gurney Halleck, at the time the first book of Dune begins, is a veteran soldier known throughout the galaxy for his skills and mastery of various weapons as he serves on the House Atreides War Council. His ability to impart knowledge to the soldiers under his command is a significant factor to the Atreides' increasing power and influence. As a result of the popularity and influence that House Atreides has gained, events are set in motion by the Emperor of House Carino to turn the tide against them. Dangers are ever-present in this feudal interstellar society, and Gurney has pledged his undying loyalty to the Duke of House Atreides and will do everything in his power to protect the Duke's family. The book provides a little background into Gurney's history before he came to serve the Atreides. Duke Leto of House Atreides rescued Gurney from the Harkonnen slave pits, the Harkonnens being the Atreides' long and bitter enemies. Gurney carries physical and emotional scars from his past, along with a deep-seated hatred for the Harkonnens, particularly for Glosso, aka Beast Raban, who is a member of House Harkonnen. We find out more about Gurney's past in the Dune prequel trilogy books written by Frank Herbert's son, Brian. But long story short, Gurney Halleck has more reason than most to hate House Harkonnen. After the horrors Gurney and his family suffered on Getty Prime, the Harkonnen homeworld, he found solace and a renewed sense of purpose with the Atreides. Leto took him in, gave him freedom, honor, and most importantly, friendship. And in turn, Gurney pledged to do whatever was within his power to protect Leto and his son Paul. Gurney has a very likable personality. We mostly find him in good spirits. He's lighthearted and is also a talented musician. He's very intelligent and well-read, quoting often from what's called the Orange Catholic Bible. He is an incredibly skilled fighter, more so than the Emperor's own trained Sardaukar killers. He serves the Duke on his war council and is charged with making sure his son Paul knows how to defend himself and to stay ever alert from assassination attempts. They practice tirelessly, though I wouldn't describe it as a typical teacher-student relationship. Paul considers Gurney to be a close friend and a fountain of wisdom which he admires and benefits greatly from. Gurney is an excellent teacher, but what also stands out to me is his humility. Considering his age and wisdom, you might think he'd be set in his ways. However, he proves to be quite adaptable and shows a certain level of humility in learning from others. These qualities prove to be just as valuable as his fighting skills, as the family makes the move from their beautiful home of Caladan to the desert planet of Arrakis, aka Dune, to accept its stewardship from the Emperor and to oversee its spice production. Spice is the most valuable substance in the universe because it is the center of the infrastructure of all societies. The Harkonnens had previously occupied and oversaw spice production on Arrakis before House Atreides. So accepting the new ownership of the planet has only increased the dangers the Atreides family will face. But if House Atreides plays their cards right, there can also be many rewards. Gurney's character progression throughout the story of Dune is quite interesting. He's like an onion, there's many layers to him. And as the story progresses, we continue to learn more about him and his past. Seeing the strength of his character and his endurance as the story progresses serves to endear the audience to him even further. There is a significant span of time when we don't see or hear from Gurney. However, when he reappears in the story, 
He is used to help the audience recognize just how much Paul has grown and changed while they've been apart. I can certainly see why Gurney Halleck is a fan favorite. He is a very complex character. He has strong values and he feels things very deeply, but keeps a lot of those feelings close to the vest. One thing I applaud Frank Herbert for is how much effort he put into crafting each of the characters in Doom. There's so much to them, so much backstory and history, and the way he lets the reader into the minds of these characters is fascinating. It makes for a great read for sure. But I, like some others, are concerned about whether we'll be able to reach a similar level of familiarity with these characters as they're presented on the big screen in the new Villeneuve's new upcoming film. It's definitely quite an undertaking to adapt this grand story to the big screen properly. The directing and the actor's skill will definitely have to be on point. I enjoyed the previous portrayals of Gurney Halleck from Patrick Stewart in David Lynch's 1984 film, and later in 2000 and in 2003 by P.H. Moriarty in the miniseries that aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. They were decent performances, but again, I'm hoping for more from Villeneuve's adaptation. He said he's going back to the book, so I would love to see a representation of Gurney Halleck on the big screen that mirrors how he is presented in the book. I am really looking forward to his portrayal by Josh Brolin. Of all the casting choices, I am most confident in his ability to do this character justice. He definitely has the countenance of a seasoned war master with a heart of gold. He has played various complex and complicated characters, probably the most famous now being Thanos. He also seems to be really invested in this role and in this film, and seem to be truly grateful and excited to be a part of this epic story. The little clips he shared while he was filming in Jordan really showed how much he appreciated being there and getting to see these beautiful landscapes. I can't wait to see the world of Arrakis and the characters whose destinies are shaped by it fully realized on the big screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more sci-fi fantasy content. And let me know in the comments what you think about Josh Brolin playing the esteemed Gurney Halleck. And also let me know whether you think these actors will be able to do these incredibly complex characters justice. And if there's another topic or character that we might see from the upcoming Doom movie that you'd like to see a video about, be sure to include that in the comments section as well. Thank you so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.